In the previous video, we've introduced the general recipe of how finite element methods work. Let's now apply them to the very specific case of the one-dimensional Helmholtz equation to get a better feeling for how this actually works in practice. So remember, the 1D Helmholtz equation is just the second derivative of psi with respect to x plus k squared psi equal to zero. And moreover, we're going to, just as we did in the case of the finite uh, uh, differences say that the uh, index is constant so k is actually constant right first thing we need to do is take the structure that we want to model and subdivide that into different elements now it's a 1d case so it's pretty straightforward we have a begin point and an end point we're just going to take that uh, line segment and divide it into an equal number of elements uh, so we have l elements in total and they all have the same length. That's pretty straightforward. On to step number two here. 